Now at 11, it's the story that's captivated the world. Tonight, new information in a brutal crime on the MacArthur Causeway. Did 31-year-old Rudy Eugene know the victim? What happened in the 12 hours before the attack that may have led up to it? And see new dramatic surveillance video of the vicious cannibal attack. Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Shannon Horry. Since Saturday, we've all wondered what led a 31-year-old man to maul a homeless man's face. Tonight, four days later, we know more. CBS 4's Maggie Newland has new video of the attack, but first we begin with CBS 4's Gio Benitez with exclusive new details. Gio? Shannon, according to police sources, these are the final 12 hours of the so-called cannibal's life before police shot him dead. It all started at 2 a.m. on the day Rudy Eugene would die. The 31-year-old was at his girlfriend's house in Miami Gardens. Our police sources say he was acting manic, going through his clothes and hers. Suddenly, he got in his car and drove to his friend's house in the area of 130th Street and Northwest 7th Avenue. According to sources, Eugene stayed there until 6 a.m. We're told he wanted to go check out the Urban Beach weekend on South Beach, so he drove there and parked illegally, our sources say, on Alton and 10th Street. He couldn't start his car again and abandoned it. The car was later towed. So just after 1 p.m. on Saturday, sources say Eugene walked back to the mainland over the causeway, but began stripping off his clothes as he crossed the 395. When he gets to the Miami side of the causeway, he encounters 65-year-old Ronald Popo. Police believe Eugene ripped off Popo's pants fighting Popo, then attacking his face. There's no indication that Eugene or Popo had ever met before this encounter. And tonight we've learned that Popo, of course, is still fighting for his life at the hospital. We have not yet seen Eugene's toxicology report. That won't be ready for the next several weeks. CBS 4's Maggie Newland has new video of the attack. Maggie, what did you learn? Well, Gio, we got a look at this video from the Miami Herald building. It was taken from pretty far away, but what you can see from that video is just how long this attack lasted and how violent it became. Valen's video shows the attack went on for 18 minutes. He walks in. Miami Herald videographer Chuck Fadley walked us through the video. The guy is sitting here, bicycles goes by, then he comes and starts in on the the victim that's sitting there. The attacker appears to punch the victim repeatedly. Now he starts to roll him down the sidewalk. See, he's rolling the guy down the sidewalk here. And then he strips off some clothing. And starts dragging him feet first down the, the sidewalk even a little further. He also seems to roll the victim violently. You can see his legs in the air. He's flopping him around. Pretty violent struggle. But the guy, at no point that you can see him in the video, does it look like he's fighting back. Uh, I mean, he looks like he's bending over the guy at this point. Uh, maybe he's already started chewing on him. Maybe here, I can't tell. And he's just barely out of sight there. And he's continuing to attack the guy for the next 15 minutes or so. A couple of moments later, police arrive. You can see an officer get out of his car, take two steps backwards, and then you see him pull a gun. When police arrived on the scene, a Miami Herald security guard noticed the commotion and zoomed in on the camera. As fire rescue arrived on the scene, you can see the victim being placed on a backboard and rescue workers place bandages over his head. At one point, you can see him moving his arms before he is rushed to the hospital. The attacker is lying dead on the ground next to him. Now, I did speak to a security guard here at the Miami Herald who says he heard the gunshots and came running out. He says it was one of the most horrific things he has ever seen. We're live in Miami, Maggie Newland, CBS 4 News Tonight. Maggie, thank you. Well, tonight we're learning that Rudy Eugene was a football player at North Miami High School. These are photos from the 1998 and 1999 high school yearbooks where friends and classmates described him as an outgoing and always willing to help type of person. And this is Eugene in Bond Court just a few years ago. 
He made a court appearance after one of his several drug arrests. Count on CBS4 for the latest information on this story. Keep it right here and online at CBSMiami.com.